Thank you, Doug. Welcome, everybody. And uh, I realize I'm standing between you and, and dinner, so uh, I'll make this uh, uh, fairly brief. Um, you know, right behind me, if you get a chance, we have uh, uh, a poster that celebrates the 150th anniversary of the Marl Act. And for those of you who don't know, that's the act uh, passed in the middle of the Civil War that established the land-grant universities nationwide. And the goal of the land-grant universities is to provide a practical education uh, to the public. Before that, all they had were private Ivy League type universities and they weren't accessible to the public. And so uh, the, the, the really big and important thing for us today about the Morrill Act is it set up the three-legged stool of teaching, research, and extension. Uh, we're not only here for our students, obviously students are the reason we're here, but we consider our students the public as well. And we really need to work with all of you and we really appreciate your interest in this center. Um, our research centers all over the state in Sheridan, Lingle, Powell, and here in Laramie exist to serve the people of Wyoming. And uh, for example, last year we did a count for the legislature. We had over 100 research projects that were driven by producer needs. Despite that, um, uh, we, we felt that we didn't really, uh, uh, we were reaching some of our producers through our advisory boards, but we weren't reaching as broad an audience in terms of getting input on what kind of research, what kind of programs they want. So we enlisted our advisory boards and one of our board members today, Ron Pulley, uh, Ron, if you take a bow, Ron has really helped us uh, reach out to other producers to get more input. And uh, Ron has done so much for this college. Uh, in terms of financial donations, uh, service to the research centers here. Uh, we're going to be honoring him in a couple of weeks at the Ag Day. Uh, those of you who make it to the Ag Day barbecue and that football game, you'll have an opportunity to uh, help us thank Ron for all of his service to the college. Um, also, I have a couple other introductions. Uh, Brett Hess, the director of the RE Center, is, is here with us today. Casey Seals, are you out here somewhere? Maybe. There's Casey right with him. Uh, Casey uh, is, is helping with Kelly Belden. Kelly, are you here? I think Kelly didn't make it tonight. But those two folks are the ones that really did yeoman's work in getting this place looking so nice today. So thank you to you. I see uh, we have two of our associate deans here. Uh, Glenn Whipple is responsible for the extension service. So if you want to bend his ear, you can do that. And Jim Wangberg, where are you hiding, Jim? Is a student academic programs. And Jim is, I think, counting hours now. He is uh, going to retire after 26 years with the University of Wyoming. So those of you who know Jim, congratulate him. He's got one more week before he gives me an earful and heads out the door. So uh, I don't know what it's going to be like to be dean. He's been the associate dean my entire tenure, and so uh, appreciate that. We have lots of staff and faculty here. Faculty members, can you all raise your hands so everybody can see? We've got uh, faculty members who use the greenhouse, and help work out here. So those of you staff and faculty, I see Kristen there, Joanne was here earlier. Uh, uh, be sure and talk to these folks if you have any questions. The College of Ag and Natural Resources, even though we have the, the second smallest faculty at UW, we have uh, the largest amount of external research dollars um, uh, per faculty member. Last year, our faculty attracted about $13 million in external awards. Why is that important to you? because a lot of the research we do is applied research. It's stuff to help you all with your questions, greenhouse questions, turf questions, uh, forage questions, weed questions. And so uh, uh, this is an important figure for you. The other thing uh, uh, that, that we, we try to do is, is try to link our extension with our research. And so a lot of our faculty not only have research appointments to do applied projects, but then they also have a responsibility to communicate with all of you. And I would like to see and like to think that our communication is two-way. If you have needs, let us know. Student enrollments, uh, all-time records last, uh, last 10 years. And uh, this last year, we had over 1,000 students. Uh, we won't know till January because statisticians are slow, I guess, what our enrollment will be this year. But uh, we're guessing over 1,000 again. Uh, that's remarkable for this college. And I think it's sustainable. Our programs are good. I think our kids are getting good jobs and I hope our programs are on target. The greenhouse here is utilized by four departments, plant sciences, 
ecosystem science and management, molecular biology, and the botany department on campus. There are millions of dollars of research going on in this, in this facility, and it's stuffed to the gunnels. We're at capacity. Faculty members, extension people, our classroom people are on a waiting list to get in to use the greenhouses. So uh, this, is a, this is a far cry from where we were 11, 12 years ago when we had a lot of empty bins. There's nothing empty here, and I hope you have fun looking at all the research and fun things going on. Once you're done with the greenhouse, you're going to get a chance to go a little bit farther to the west and visit our student acres farm. This is a student-driven project to provide uh, food uh, for uh, the uh, community through our farmers markets and other activities. Uh, the reason I love the acres farm is because uh, it attracts students from all parts of the campus and part of my mission as Dean is to make sure as many people as possible leave the University of Wyoming understanding that food comes from soil and not Safeway. So uh, hopefully uh, they'll get the message. As, as I mentioned, the space is at a pre premium. Um, we're gradually working continuously to improve the facilities. We're installing new grow lights in some of the ranges. Uh, these new LED lights are much more efficient and hopefully we'll get quite a bit of cost savings out of that. Um, uh, less kilowatt hours are also more optimum for plant growth. So we're very excited about some of the things we're doing. Um, I'll finish up by saying that I'm going to hang around here for a couple minutes. Uh, happy to visit with you um, a little bit more, but please enjoy the greenhouse. It is your greenhouse. If you have questions, uh, ask anybody. If you have research questions or something like that, please do uh, grab us. If you have suggestions for other research, uh, talk to any of us on the staff, talk to Mr. Pauly. Uh, we'd be glad to take your suggestions. And with that, uh, Doug, I'll turn it back over to you, but uh, enjoy the evening. We did this on purpose so we could make it rain. So those of you who are in ranching and farming, guess what? We made it rain, at least five drops. Doug, thank you, and thank you all. Have a good afternoon.